hello today I'm here with a new video and it's first impression today as well and today I'm testing out the feral palette by Menagerie Cosmetics and I have been looking so forward to try this palette and it looks like this I have watched some of the colors because I didn't know what I wanted to do but I want to use this and I don't want to do the same makeup looks all the time um, but it feels like I'm doing that right now <laughs> but I don't know what to do so I think I have decided what I want to do and of course these two colors spoke to me the most it's the yellow and the orange so I'm going to use these two today and I want to use one of the shimmers as well so the palette looks like it is. Where am I supposed to be? Uh, it's 12 shades and it's only two shimmers. This green one and this pink one. So I think I want to use one of them as well. And the palette is in cardboard packaging. I love the front of the palette. It's like the most beautiful palette I own. Uh, it's amazing. And it's got a mirror. I like that. So we are testing out... I am testing out the Feral palette by Menagerie Cosmetics and now we just have to start so this video doesn't be super long and I just want to excuse my hands, my nails and my hair my hands they are so dry right now and they are just, I hate my hands and I moisturize them all day long it doesn't help at all and my hair I have been at work so yeah that's we have to live with this I'm going to fix it a little bit later but the nails I'm so sorry I'm gonna fix this someday or we'll take it away I don't know but it looks awful right now and I'm so sorry for that so okay I am going to start with this color Canis Lupus is it the Latin word for wolves? I'm not sure. And I'm going to take this in my crease. And this color, when I swatched it, it looked so good. And it is looking good. And I was a little bit disappointed with this palette because first I think they revealed these two rows with the colorful and I was like I need it and then this row came and it's not the most fun colors but this is a really nice color so I am okay with it and you can actually replace two of the colors. This is a magnetic palette so you can just pop these colors out. Uh, so if you want to get two new colors because so many complained about this palette of this row and I was like you know what you bought and you got what you paid for but if you want to you can send your order number to Menagerie Cosmetics and they will send you two new colors, two different colors. I haven't done that yet. I don't know if I'm going to. Um, you get the shades for free but you have to pay for shipping. And in my case I have to pay for customs as well. So it's going to be not only the shipping for me. So I haven't decided yet what I want to do. So something like this. And then I'm going to take this orange one. And it's called Mariposa. Mariposa. And I'm going to take a small blending brush and also put this in my crease. And I hope that this will work. I think this turns out really dark and muddy. It turns out nice maybe. Just to get a little hint of the orange and I take 
more of the orange in my inner corner than I did with the brownish, the brown grayish. So I have decided I'm going to take this pack leader, this pink shimmer, and I will put this. Maybe I should tell you what I'm doing. I am doing a halo eye. And I'm going to do this like reverse, 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 reverse halo eye. So I put, usually I have the shimmer in the middle, but I like to have the matte in the middle and the shimmers around the matte. Uh, I don't know if that's even a thing. Or it's just me, so I'm putting this pack leader and this one. I have only tried the shimmers in the Dragon Child, but they were like more moussey colors. And this was so good. It's really opaque at once and it lays good on the eye. It does has a bit of fallout, but So this is the pack leader and this shadow is so nice and it was so easy to work with and now I'm going to take night eyes the yellow one and put this in my in the gap and I don't know how this yellow is I have seen some having problems with it to get it opaque and okay it is yellow uh, it's maybe not the most opaque yellow that I have ever tried but it's not the worst not by far and this is just on my eyeshadow base that is not that sticky and you can pack this on but I feel like ye with yellow shades when you first pack it on it looks so good but then during the day they fade a lot and that's a little bit sad and I'm not going to have this makeup as um, so long today because it is off the work and yeah okay I like this yellow it fades out good up here in the crease I would want like a neon yellow a super bright yellow some I, I think I need to give up because I don't think you can have it in a normal eyeshadow I think you need to have it in like a pigment or something and uh, it's nothing wrong at all with this yellow. It's a good yellow. So that makes me really glad because that's one of the colors that I'm really looking forward to using this. And I have noticed something. I think I I put my eyeshadow pretty high up. But I need to be better to put it high up. Here on the outer corner. I have seen it when I'm taking photos of my makeup looks. That I look a little bit... Mm, mm, a little bit sad. Maybe you can say. So I really need to take this higher up. I'm going to put the yellow on the other eye as well. And as you see now... On this I have packed it on in layers and here it's the first stroke. I hope you can see the difference. So this is the yellow that you have to build up. Okay, so I'm going to take away the fallouts. I have quite, I have not a lot, but I have fallouts. It's mostly of the shimmery shade. Uh, the yellow, not so much, a little bit here, but 
dripping more and I have it on my eyelashes. Okay, so I'm going to take away the fallouts, I'm going to do my base and then I come back and we fix the under eyes. So I'm back with the face and also put on my hair. So we are going to do something underneath my eyes and for a while now I like to do the same thing um, before I like to do like a pop of color or something. So I'm I am not really sure what I want to do. I think I'm just going to take this pink shade, Visteria, put it on my whole lower lash. So maybe something like that. And I want something on my waterline. And I don't know if I want pink or yellow. So I'm going to take this from Colourpop, it's the cream gel liner in boots, I think. Yes. So I'm going to put on some mascara and also something on my lips and I don't really know what I want. Uh, so I will fix that and I will come back with, with the finished look. Okay, so this is the finished look and I have changed my lipstick like four times and I think I will go with this and this is color pop lipsticks in Lumiere. I think I will go with this. It's not the best match but hey. So this is the finished look and I really like this palette as well. The yellow I think it feels like it have it's not as popping as it was before but I don't know. Um These shadows were easy to work with, easy to blend together, and I really like that this pack leader that I could put it on my sticky base and it was opaque like in in the first stroke. So I really I really like that. And I think I like these four colors as well. I think it was a good move in this palette. Now when I've tried that one today and it looks really good in my crease, so I'm not disappointed in, the, in these four more boring colors. I think they could, can compl complement the palette better and you can use this if you just maybe want a pop of color. You can use maybe these three and then take a color for color and I think I like it. So this was my first impression with the Feral palette. I like this palette. The shadows I tried were good. The shimmer shade was so easy to work with. It was opaque at first and I didn't have to spray it or anything. So I really like it. I maybe would wish for more shimmers than just two. I am so looking forward to what Menagerie Cosmetics is coming out with this year. They have like sneak peeked the a whale. Uh, so a whale palette and I hope that it will be... I think it will be some bluish and uh, I'm a little bit intrigued by that even though blue is not my favorite. So I'm gonna stop ba babbling now and I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye!